continue to push through when things get hard. So if you had all the money, power necessary, what would you do to change that you feel would most benefit the LGBT plus community? Give back. Like I said, it's a lot of people that don't have the fortune to have a mother like you. They just wandering in the streets trying to find food and shelter. So like I said, building places for them to go to, to get showers, clothes, I like I said, I want to be the one to supply the clothes. I, I mean, I have donations, but I want to make sure, like, when I build this, that these people are taken care of. For. Like, honestly, that's what, if I had a lot of money, I'd give back to the community because you got to give money to make money. You got to spend it to make it and to make sure that our community is looked after, it, giving jobs, building businesses and homes so that we, we can shine and we can have jobs. You know, you shouldn't have to, like I said, you shouldn't have to go to different measures to get cash when you have somebody like me that's offering you a job, offering you get paid and benefits so the way you can make a living and live your life the way you really want to. You know, I don't like nobody hustle because when you're grinding and you're getting chasing the bag, that's all that matters. As long as you, you know, staying humble to yourself and realize what you're doing and your end result. Okay. But that's what I'll do for the community if I had power and money. Okay. So ask, not where I live or what I like to eat or how I comb my hair, but ask me what I'm living for. In detail, ask me what I think is keeping me from living fully for the thing I want to live for. Quote by Thomas Merton. The actual question is, what is your goal in life and what is slowing you from achieving that goal? Being successful, being true to myself, being honest with myself, being truthful and honest to others. I think what stops me is fear. Fear stops me. I, I tend to think about what other people will say or do depending on what I want to do. And I'm trying to break out of that habit um, because I am i don't want people to dictate my life. I want to be able to take control of my life and dictate my life because I feel like I feel as if I can dictate my life then I could be put in leadership roles and help others. But right now, me trying to please everybody and afraid of what the consequences and thinking about what bad can happen instead of just taking a leap of faith, I think that's what hold me back. But going forth, I definitely want to be more true to myself and more honest to others. I'm not going to sit here and flex with me in this relationship. I've done some grimy shit. I've lied. I've cheated. Um, that's not me. It's just you know, I let life dictate everything. You know, I let life take control and I lost sight of my purpose of moving back to Atlanta from North Carolina. Um, I started helping my moms, but it was also to help myself. So that's my goal going forward. Realizing who I am is getting back on track to my goal and my plans. Okay, so what is your deepest tea? I mean, something Ooh. that you've never shared on media before but something that you're mm. willing to share, of course. I'm here oh. for it. <laughs> oh, well, my deepest, deepest see, I can't tell, child. But I don't know. Like, like I said, I tell people think I had this grand life. And honestly, like I tell people, I'm... I'm not homeless, but I'm going through shit. Like, I'm not afraid to say it. Like, I'm really at the bottom trying to build my way up people don't know it i put a smile on my face even my coworkers at work i don't they don't even know what's going on i make it to work on time i continue on my life but i could say that's the deepest thing people don't know about me at the moment is that i i'm like at rock bottom building myself back up but i stay strong i keep the faith you know other than that, I'm fine. I don't really got no other big secrets that the world don't know. Like I said, you didn't know that I was with somebody. I am. It's a year mark today. Um, a, a crazy year. I can tell you that much. If people didn't know, like, it's been rough. I've let life get the best of me, and I've done some crazy shit. Okay, I'm working on it. I'm not going to lie. But those are the things I can say is the biggest, darkest things people don't know. All right, and so what have been some of the stumbling blocks that you um that you encountered, and how did you overcome? Um, 
being patient was a very stumbling block. I'm very impatient when stuff don't go my way or when things just don't seem right. I don't know. It just that that blocks me because I'm easily I'm easy to walk away than to continue fighting. And I think that's been my issue. I give up so quickly and I'd be like, fuck it, I'm done. So that's been a major stum those been my mountains and stumbling blocks. Continue to push through when things get hard. Um, and not asking for help. And I think that's, like I said, that's number one on my list to do. Push for it, not give up, fight the battle, stay strong, and believe in myself. I think you, along with others, believe in me more than I believe in myself. Because I'm not good with rejection. I'm not good with failing. I feel like if I fail, I've let everybody down. And I don't want to have that weight on me. So that would be my mindset. But I'm trying to change it, though. I promise you I am. Okay. So what are some things that you would like to be left in the legacy time capsule? When I pass away and I die and I, the legacy time capsule come about, I want people to know, like I said, that I made a difference in the community. Like, I'm not trying to. I don't want no awards. I don't want no no accolades, people like no. Nah, I don't. You can the fame because I don't like to get speeches. I may say I'm a celebrity and I like the spotlight, but you can ask anybody of my friends. I hate attention. I just want to be known that I made a difference in the legacy capsule. That um, Dorian Partridge, Captain Light Skin, he made a difference. He made a way. I'm your boy, Captain Lightskin. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Captain Lightskin. Captain with a K, L I T E S K I N. Snapchat, Cap K A P T underscore Lightskin. Or Facebook, Captain Lightskin. You can find me on all platforms. Feel free to DM me. I give, um, like I said, my goal is going forward to give pos um, positive inspiration quotes, you know, if you need somebody to talk to or to pray with or just to get some stuff off your chest, hit me up. I'm a good listener. I'm here. Um, I'm friendly. Don't feel like I'm mean. I'm stuck up because that's not me. Remember to stay positive, stay true to yourself, and stay he healthy during this pandemic. I love you guys. Remember to wear your mask. Be breezy.